So it's really different from the dominant political philosophies in the United States, conservatism and progressivism, but it's still a, a very important political philosophy in the American tradition. Right? We're drawing our political philosophy right out of the Declaration of Independence and the text that influenced it. Moreover, uh, libertarians have been hugely influential in the academy. So probably the, the most important economist uh, of the 20th century, Milton Friedman, was a libertarian, um, as was the second most important uh, philosopher of the 20th century, Robert Nozick. Uh, so the libertarian ideas, although a small share of the electorate in the US, uh, play an outsized role in policy discussions and uh, in academic philosophy, political science, and economics. So my idea was, hey, we've got these great ideas. Um, they're, they're well respected in the academy. They're well respected by people who do public policy research. But they're not known in the general population. So how do we fix this problem? Well, let's focus on a single state where there already is some kind of native sympathy for these ideas. and. Uh, let's, let's try to get these ideas a fair hearing in the political process.